Hi graphic designers, we're back in Photoshop and we're ready to start taking a look at the Select Modify tool. The Select Modify tool, you can find Select up in the Photoshop menu, the top bar, click on it and go down to Modify and you'll see that you have about five options here. The smooth, the border, the smooth, expand, contract, and feather. We're going to be focusing on expand, contract, and feather. We've made a number of selections here, and now we want to go in and perfect those selections. Zoom in, and this is the best way to make sure that you have a good selection is by zooming in. I'm going to grab my lasso tool. I'm noticing that right along in here, uh, there's I missed a little bit of a corner. So I want to come in and just select that corner and make it a little bit more even. I also want to subtract from the sky and add in the a little bit of the bridge there. Again, getting into corners is important. Now on this one, using the feathering tool is really not quite the best because the sky is so light. It's going to show up against the dark of the background on the object, the, the image that we're, we're importing this bridge into. So I'm again, now that I'm revisiting this, I'm just again looking at detail. So now that I have these selections done, I still might have to do a little bit of cleanup when I get over to the other object. And I'm sorry that this video is not exactly dealing with the modify yet. And now we will X and now go to the moon. So here we have the moon. I always unlock my layers and I'm going to use my quick selection tool to grab this black. This is pretty straightforward. Anytime you choose an image, try to get your background as straightforward as you possibly can. So there it's, it's selected very nicely. We're going to zoom in and you can see that we don't want to have this really hard edge. We want that moon is going to sit back. It's going to be in the sky. It's going to have a little bit of a soft edge. So we're just going to go to select, modify, feather. And we'll give it one feather. I think I'm going to go back, modify, feather, and maybe two pixels instead of one. Now, what this is going to do is it's just, well, let me cut it. I'll show you. So you see it has this very, very faint feathery edge on the end of it. Now what this will do is soften those edges so that they recede instead of coming forward. Anything that's really sharp is going to be jarring to the eye. Another thing that you can do with the modify tool is you can go to select, modify, and you can go to expand and let's expand four pixels just so that you can see okay so now it you're thinking well it's contracting no it's expanding because remember we're dealing with the selection right so the selection from the center is getting bigger right so that means that if the moon is in the middle that those lines around it are going to go this way and the lines on the outside are going to go out as well. So they're going to, it's going to get bigger. Now let's see what happens when we go to select, modify, contract. And let's contract nine. Now you see that it got bigger because this selection out here got smaller, okay? So let's go back to the original and now let's go to select, modify, 
feather. We'll do two and say, so that when we cut this, we now have this little bit of an edge. So I'm just gonna take the moon, go over here to my uh, bridge, and I'm actually gonna throw this away in favor of bringing in a different bridge. And I'm going to grab the moon, and I can click on the layer and bring it over here until I get a plus sign, and there it is, right there. Now, of course, it's too big, so I will uh, select it and go to the Transform tool, move it over to where I want it, and I will size it. Holding, uh, I'm sorry, I don't need to hold my shift key, I just need to grab a corner and then place it over here, but mm, I don't really like that because it's on top of my mountain. So that's a regular just click and drag and place something. But let's see what happens when we do a paste into. So the first thing we're going to do is grab our quick selection tool and we'll just we'll just grab around this mountain here because that's all I really need. Okay, so there it is, and that's selected. Now I can go over here to the moon. Or I can go to select, I'm sorry, select. I just need to grab the moon, so I'm gonna use the lasso tool. And whoop, deselect. And just grab that, and command C, or control C, that's copy. Then when I get over here, I'm going to go to Edit, Paste Special, Paste Into. So now you can see that the moon, boop, is now behind that mountain. And I can resize it here. And that little dark area where I used the Selection Modify tool just helps it to sort of blend into the sky a little bit better. So I'm going to take, there's my moon there. I'm going to take this one away, throw it out, because I like this better. And now I'm going to bring in my bridge. So my bridge is selected. I can either grab my layer or grab my tab and bring it in. Here we go. And I can drop it right into here if I wish. It should work, but if it doesn't, and I don't trust it, there it is. Okay, you place it, and you can see the little pink lines that are helping me to do that. I'm going to select the bridge, and I'm going to Command T. Whoops, I don't want to rotate it. <laughs> So I use my move tool and move this down just a little bit because I can't really see the get almost getting there. Okay, and deselect. All right. So as I said, when once you start getting your images together. There's a little bit more detail work to do. You can see I still have little vestiges of the sky around some of these squares. So I'm just going to hit the rotate tool and grab my eraser and zoom in and just soften this just a little bit. I don't want to soften it too much. <laughs> and I'm just doing a little bit at a time. And then just come in here and clean up these corners and anything that I've missed. Now there are actual jobs that you can do in the industry, and especially in film, where you can do compositing. And it's called image bashing now. I just want to get rid of all those little white blocks that I couldn't get rid of before. Now let's go back to the rotate tool 
and hit reset view and zoom out. Not bad, huh? <laughs> I know. And this is pretty much all of the tools. So we've gone over lasso tool. I always forget the selection tool, quick selection tool, the magic wand, the tolerance, the anti-alias and contiguous. We've been over the, mod uh, the select, modify, feather, expand, and contract. We've used the eraser. And we've also used the clone tool to make some of the bridge elements a little straighter, you know, where it where the selection of the pixels was a little bit jagged, so we could use the clone tool to fix that. Um, and now we have a nice little composite, simple and nice. So I hope this is helpful, and I will see you in class. Bye.